Hi everyone, I have got my Ipsy, my glam bag X. So we all know that hashtag Nancy has no idea when it comes to skincare and makeup. I need all the help I can get. So here it is in all its glory. And uh, yeah, I've had it for a couple of weeks now. I haven't had a chance to record it and then I lost it and now I found it. So anyway, I hope you stick around and join me and then tell me what to do with the products that are in here, please. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel, to my returning viewers, my subscribers. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you guys so much. I am so blessed to have you in my life. I appreciate the fact that you even watch my videos, that you comment on them, that you click on like, and most important, that you help me with skincare and makeup because the hashtag Nancy has no idea. But yeah, that said getting into my ipsy my glam bag x so anyway this is a box that comes out four times a year i get the ipsy glam bag plus uh that costs 25 dollars a month and i get five full-size products in that and then because i signed up to get the x every quarter i spend 55 instead of the 25 and i get seven to eight full-size products i get to pick three of them not from the whole array of products just from the three that they say you can pick these out of these three yeah so yeah we did that and um yeah so you get some date products um full-size products can be uh beauty can be like makeup can be skincare can be hair products can be lifestyle they say the value this month is up to five hundred dollars depending on what you put in your box and what they put in your box it's uh, curated every quarter by either a famous makeup artist or stylist this month it's halsey i have no idea who she is and but last month, last uh, quarter was Khloe Kardashian. I wasn't really thrilled about that box. The first box was, um, I forgot his name already, T-U, or I forgot who he was. But that box was, was really good. I was really happy with that box. But anyway, so anyway, I did not like the choices that they gave me this month. It was just blah, blah products that I could get. I think I could get what they gave me for choices. I could get anywhere. I picked the three out of the three that they gave me. I picked the ones that I thought I would like the most. Uh, the value, of course, they tell me. Then I put add-ons on because, yeah, I, I wasn't thrilled with what was in my box. So they, they tell me that the value of my box is $438, but that's not true. I put in six add-ons that made up the difference. The total of the items that they, they put in here and the three that I picked was $304. Now, I picked six add-ons. And my add-ons totaled $155, and I paid $60. So, a little bit of a discrepancy there. I think that's a little bit misleading to tell you that you paid $55 and you have $438 worth of products when you don't. That's false advertising. But anyway, ipsy. Let's get into it, because I'm sure there's some really good things in here. And I'm excited to try it out. I do I kind of think it's funny that Boxy Charm and Boxy Lux used to have this phone thing and Ipsy bought them and now Ipsy took out the crappy paper, gave the crappy paper to Boxy Charm and Ipsy uses the phone. Yeah, how does that work exactly? All right, so this is everything that's in here with my add-ons and of course, let's take out the add-ons so we can see what it really would have looked like. This is one of my add-ons. It's one of my add-ons. Two of my add-ons. That's an add-on. And this is an add-on. Alrighty, so this is what is in my box. And like I said, there's, I'm sure there's some nice products in here. I just, uh, you know, and maybe because, um, you know, I was a rookie. I was a, a skincare, makeup, boxy charm, ipsy, of rookie not too long ago so everything was like oh my god this is amazing oh this is the greatest ever and of course now i've been doing it for a while so maybe it takes a little bit more to make me go wow anyway they give you this newspaper and of course that must be the lady halsey who curated these items back is the power of plants so a little bit of reading material i think inside it's going to be the items that could be in your box and so it tells you a little bit about them so I'm not going to probably hold it up this is looks like it was 
all the items that could have been curated for this box. So in any event, if you didn't get some of these, you could always read up on them, maybe then look at them uh, quickly for the add-ons disappear and add them to your box or to a future box and the last couple of pages. Alrighty, so yeah, are you, are you excited yet? Alrighty, so this first item here is Tasha. It's a silk canvas and it's a filter finish protective primer. Alrighty, so let's see what this is about. This cute little box here. A little pull tab here. And this oil thing. And this thing. I don't know what it is. And am I supposed to take this out of here? I guess I am. So it looks like this. And I don't want to touch it in case I don't keep it. So I don't know if this is, it looks creamy, like a creamy texture, which would be basically what a primer is. So I would probably keep it, but, and I don't know if you're supposed to use this to scoop something out or exactly what, but okay. So that's my first item, this primer. And I think they said this had a $52 value. So $52 for primer. That's, I think that's kind of high, but like I said, I'm kind of a rookie when it comes to this skincare stuff. So this is Sonage Collagen Boosting Serum. It says it plumps and smooths. Alrighty, so I'm sure there's some directions here on the back. Apply evenly to face and neck after cleansing and toning. Follow with moisturizer. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. As you see, I'm destroying this box, so if it does end up in a giveaway at some point, you'll know it was me. And this is what it looks like, and I will probably keep this because I am getting into using serums and things like that. So this has an MSRP of $48. So not really a bad, bad price for a serum if you were going to buy this outright. But we will... And of course, we all know that I just did a an empties video, Nancy style. So it may take me a year to get to these, but we'll give it a try. And I'll let you know if I do use it, what I think about it. So this is called Saints and Sinners. And it's a leave-in conditioner. It's sealed pretty good. So I will probably not open this. This had a value of $20. Alrighty, this is emerald. I don't know what this is. Herbivore, emerald. Hemp seed and adaptions. It's a moisture glow oil. Pretty packaging. I'm sure there's something here. So it's cannabis essential oil for external use. Well, you know, if it's a cleansing oil, I don't need to cleanse my inside with oil, do I? Touch basically how to use it. This has an MSRP of $48. It's pretty. Well, maybe that's where it gets the color. The name Emerald. Let's have this dropper here. Yeah, it just has this kind of a soapy scent. So anyway, I will probably use this. So I got like two serums, right? Two serums so far. Hair care. This is glow to a tea. And it's upside down. Beauty is what you make of it. 
Okay, it's a... I don't know what it is yet. So it must be like a moisturizer, but I'm not really sure. Okay. Apply to face, neck, and twice daily. So it must be kind of like a moisturizer, right? So it's a kind of like a kind of like a bronzy rose gold cap and a glass bottle. Yep, it's a moisturizer. Let's see if it's good. It does have a nice like a light fragrance to it. Looks nice and creamy. I will probably use it. And this has an MSRP of $39. Alrighty. So let's see where we are next. Okay, light luck. I don't know what this is. A little bubble wrap. And this says light lock powder about face. Kind of like shifting the color shift or holographic or something. Oh. Yeah, because I would have been trying to figure out for days how to get into this. And then you must bend it back. What the heck? And this is why my nails break. You know, sometimes it's just not worth it. Okay. Here we go. That seemed like a lot of work for nothing, didn't it? About face. It's a powder. So, this is a pretty packaging. It's kind of like a polygram or something here. Got to be a trick on how to open it, right? Okay, I, I don't know how I opened it, but I did. Well, not. So it's kind of like a pretty, like a mauvey pink. So I don't know. It's kind of made right there. Ooh, that's scary. So it is pretty. I just. So it must be a highlighter, you would think? We all know. Hashtag Nancy doesn't know what to do with, with highlighter, so a lot of times I just use it on my lips. So let's do that. I guess that means I'm keeping it because I touched it. Yeah, I, I don't know if it did anything. But it is pretty color. Packaging is cute. I may never get into it again, so there you go. And that has a $30 value. We got this Fenty Beauty. By Rihanna Mascara. And that's pretty packaging. So it makes it was it was not tight. How about that? It was not tight when I got it. So when I open this in like three months, if it's dry, we all know that it came loose. This has a $24 value, and I'm not opening it because I do not have luck with mascaras that come from beauty boxes that are dry when I finally get around to opening them. So $24. And the last item is Define Me Aquamarine Crystal Infused Perfume Mist. I don't think I've ever got a perfume mist. So let's see what this is. What is pretty this? I don't know if you can see it, but there is crystals in here. Define me. I don't know if this is a dropper. No? Oh, it's just the, uh... Alrighty. We're ready to spray this. It's very... It is pretty. It smells like flowers, but... This is nice. I am gonna like this. I hope it lasts longer than that. I forgot what that other one that's always coming up on the ads. 
this didn't last five minutes. Uh, define me. This is kind of strong though. Maybe I used too much. This has a value of $40. But as long as this lasts more than five minutes, I'm going to love it. Alrighty, so what did I get in my box here? So, alrighty, let's see if I can recap. I'm going to have to take things out and put it on top of the foam. Or take the foam out completely. Alrighty, so I think I got, I think this is a highlighter. I got the mascara. I got the perfume that smells strong, smells flority. Flor, flowery. But I think I'm going to like it. And I got the serum, Sonage Collagen Boosting Serum. I think I need that. We got this primer from Tatcha. And we got this hemp um, serum as well. Is that everything? So one, two, three, four, five, six. What am I missing? The Saints and Sinners, the leave-in conditioner for your hair. I do like leave-in conditioners for my hair. So I'll more than likely use that. And a moisturizer. So I will more than likely use this moisturizer as well. So that was everything in my Ipsy Glam Bag X4. Uh, so I spent 55 and my value is 304. So it's still a good value for the items that you get. Like I said, it just, I've got some nice items in here, but it just doesn't seem to have the wow factor. But if you have used any of these products, I would love to hear your thoughts on them. So anyway, I wanted to get some other things in my box, so I got some add-ons. And I think this is a hair care product that Alicia from Alicia Martin uses, and I think this is the one that she says she loves this product. So I thought, I saw it in the add-ons, I had to give it a try. So this is Scalp Therapy Exfoliate Numa. And of course the directions on how to use it in the back. Do I have my cost? I did. So this I spent, I don't remember what the value is. I didn't read it. I know that um, everything that I picked for the add-ons came to $155 and I spent $60. This, um, so I think this had the value of $28. Then, because I didn't get any eye makeups, any palettes, which are usually kind of like a big deal when you have like a famous designer, right? Makeup artist or curator doing a beauty box, don't you would think that. So I picked two palettes. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them for myself or if it's going to be a good giveaway, which I, I don't want to announce yet because I've got two going on. So we will figure this out later, but this is Violet Voss and the colors in here really looked nice. So there's like um, some gold tones in here, some like a rose gold, got some nice mattes. So this is all colors that I would use, but I think in my heart of hearts, I think some other, someone will enjoy this and do a better job with it. So at some point, we will probably just do a quick giveaway and I will include this. Alrighty, so next was another little palette. And I've seen a lot of people unbox these. They say the pigments are really nice and I've seen them put it on their hands. And everyone that got it just really, really seems to love it. So, so it's uh, whatever this is, a little card that comes with it. That's kind of pretty. And the box is kind of like a prism type effect. And it's cardboard. But I'll show you the, uh, I don't think there was a mirror in here from what I've seen other people. But it kind of. And it does have a little saver right here with the names on it. But the colors in here are so pretty. And I think this is something that I would use and like, but I think I would rather use it for a future giveaway. And these will probably just be like quick little single, single ones that I do. And so probably, because I've got the other ones that the drawing is coming up on September 1st, probably when I do like um, my Ipsy Glam Bag or Ipsy Glam Bag Plus next month, we'll do one of these things right here. So those are for future giveaways. I think they're really pretty. I think I, I think I would use them, but I think I'd rather do it for a giveaway. And then I got these two masks because I love these masks. Well, I haven't really used any from the frame shop. I've bought 
some as extras lately, but I haven't used them yet. So one of these may go in here. So we'll decide when I do that. Otherwise, I might throw another type of mask in there. So this one was Wander. And this one, this one was for me. I'm not going to lie to you. I forgot what it was, but it sounded like something I needed. <sighs> they make things so hard. That's for those of us that are, look at this, and it's not even bending. Here it goes. That are opening box challenged. They do not make it easy for us, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah, I thought it was something else. But anyway, it's a, I think it's an eyeliner pencil. But I think it was um, kind of like a kind of mauve like a plum. It's not going to open. Ah, oh, there it goes. But I think it was like a plum. Yeah. So I thought that would be pretty just as a change, and it does have the sharpener on the end. Because I do like to wear purple sometimes, and so I just thought this would be a little change from black. So... That was for me. I thought it was something else, though, but I might have forgot to click on it. So, anyway, I'm running over 20 minutes, but I just wanted to thank you guys again for joining me. These will show up probably next month sometime as a giveaway, and I'll probably include some kind of mask or something with it, just as a way to say thank you for sticking with by me and helping my channel grow and just helping me feel a little bit more secure in talking to you. I'm not as robotic and scared to say anything and I'm not blinking like a mean mini up like in the beginning I could not stop blinking the ring light I was just blink 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 I was like a blinking maniac so yeah I want to thank you guys for helping me through those difficult years of or months of starting here of course now I'm going to probably stop blinking but anyway I just want to thank you guys again your support is amazing remember hashtag Nancy has no idea so any information that you can give me on that ipsy glam bag plus that uh, or X rather, any of those items that you've used. Um, if you have any guidance for me, would be greatly appreciated. I hope you guys go out and have a great night, great weekend, and we'll chat again soon, everybody. Bye-bye.